Um, another note about the, the, the trailer is everything in there was actually in the game, you know, rendered by the game. That's all real gameplay. You know, that's me shooting the pistol at somebody. All of those zombies, all they, they, they might look really cool, like they're post-process or something like that. That's straight out of the engine. And that's the same thing with all this today. We're really proud that we actually have it running at a really good frame rate on all four platforms, and that's the Mac, the PC, uh, the PS3, and the Xbox 360. That's what's been the, the biggest challenge for us, but we managed to get it up and running, you know, pretty fast and, and at a pretty smooth, smooth frame rate. Now again, it's at a preview stage, we still have a lot to do, so even though we think this looks really get great and it's running really well, uh, I, I think we'll go leaps and uh, you know, bounds beyond that in the future. Um, another big thing about this is, and, and this is all based on the feedback we got from E3. First of all, like John mentioned in his keynote last night, everybody would look at the PC and said, yeah, yeah, and the Mac, like, oh, that's kind of nifty. And then they would, you know, 360, that makes sense, it's kind of like a PC, but they were really overwhelmed by it running on the PS3. Uh, and, and a combination of that was they didn't, uh, they were really kind of astounded that we were able to compile all code, the, the, compile the code base across all other platforms in, in about five minutes or so. So there's no, no, you know, it, it's not a port and we don't have to do anything special. And the other uh, kind of cool thing, I, I joke about this a lot, but a lot of the artists until, up, up until last week didn't even realize we had it up and, up, up and running on those platforms. And the cool thing about that is they don't have to realize that. Because we, we've kind of, with the virtual texturing and with our, our, our mega texturing and the landscape texturing, we've kind of removed those constraints from the artists. They're literally, literally allowed to use as much textures as they want to create these kinds of landscapes. And it'll just show up across all platforms. Um, another really cool thing we have going for us, and we've always done this on the PC, so we take it for granted that we have it now on the consoles, but the artists are, are, can go into Photoshop or whatever tool they're comfortable with using, you know, they can go into Moto, they can do uh, Mudbox, but we use just about everything, Max. Um, they can actually 